what's up guys welcome back to it security labs today i'm going to show you how to set up your own network security monitoring solution in a lab at home very simple setup where we are going to use zik or formerly known as bro to monitor our lab traffic we're going to be monitoring all the traffic that comes to the lab from the internet and also that leaves our lab to the internet using this wonderful tool called Zik. We will ship that data to our Elastic SIM solution where we are able to parse the same data and classify the data. And also, we are also able to search that data. We can search and see what we have and also hunt or search and hunt for any threats that might be coming to our lab. So, by the time you finish setting up this lab, you will have graphs and also the ability to drill down on the, all the logs that you have been collecting from your environment. So that's what we're going to be using in this lab. We're going to be using VMware ESXi uh, as our host to host uh, our Elastic, uh, Elastic Sim, and also we will be hosting intrusion detection system in VMware as well. Will be spanning a port from cisco meraki so to make it easy to understand here is a simple network diagram that i have say my lab is connected to a cisco meraki firewall which is connected to an isp modem going to the internet what i want to do is to monitor all the traffic after it passes my firewall before it comes to my switch to come to my lab, I want to monitor all the traffic that goes in and out of this interface right here. In order to do this, what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to monitor that traffic using my bro IDS or Zeek IDS. What I'm going to do is I'm going to span or take a copy of this traffic through this line here, through, through this interface that comes to my VMware. And then from VMware, my Zeek virtual machine has two interfaces. One of them is going to receive a copy of that traffic. And then we're going to analyze that traffic. And after we analyze that traffic that was copied from this interface, we'll forward it all the way to our Elasticsearch sim, where we can search and query and also visualize the data and get some really good intel information about it. So that's a brief overview of how it, what it looks like. I'm going to show you the different bits and pieces that you can configure in this. First thing that you need to do is, um, there is no configuration change on the Miraki firewall. It's just going to have a trunk from Miraki to the switch. This is a trunk port. So in my Miraki, dashboard here this is the port that i'm talking about it says pfsense but really this is a cisco meraki uplink so what we are looking at is an interface on the switch which will be interface number one or number five whatever number you want to use then this interface here is the uplink we want a copy of this traffic and we're copying it to interface number eight which is also a trunk so if I do this, you see that it says unmirror. And to mirror this traffic, all I needed to do was to check an interface. And if you say mirror, it will ask you to choose another interface that's open that you can mirror it to. Then say add ports. And that's all you do is you're just mirroring the traffic between port 1 and port 8. So that's the configuration that is right here. Once I mirror the traffic right here, I'm sending it to VMware where I made special configurations. I added a vSwitch and also used a physical interface. So in my VMware, if I sign into my, say, if you don't have vCenter, this is you go to networking. And in your networking, if you do it, say, add a port group, you can name it whatever you want. And I didn't change anything here. Then you choose a virtual switch that you want or you can create a virtual switch first so let me show you what i have here i have a virtual switch called mirror switch and this virtual switch is connected to a physical 
adapter which is connected to my switch interface number eight so i hope you can follow this and then from there um, i'm able to now get a copy of the mirror traffic to come in through the v switch then uh, from there i also have a port group which pretty much is what the virtual machine would see which i named um, mirror in this case i named it new mirror and in that port group when i go to my virtual machine um, which is now named zik edit here as you can see it's now connected to new mirror so that's how my virtual machine is getting a copy of the traffic from the switch to here i'm interested in this just let me know in the comments I'll be happy to help you set up a port mirror from whatever uh, devices that you're using. As long as your switch supports mirroring traffic, this is a very simple setup. Then um, after the traffic is mirrored, you go ahead and install Zik. Just follow in instructions from their documentation. Pretty straightforward. I can help you set it up too if you're interested. Otherwise, very simple. Just install Zik. Uh, you end up with these files here. So what you're looking at now is all the different data that, data that you will get. So we have the corn.log, dhcp.log. What this is the data that you end up sending all the way to your Elastic Sim. I'm I actually changed the, these logs to be in JSON format so that I can ingest them in my Elastic Sim, and it's a very simple process. You just tell it to uh, format every log into JSON format. Just use Filebit to send the data to here and you end up with data that you can visualize. And also this is only, all, all this information is coming from Zeek. I'll show you from my data sources here so you know that this is actually coming from Zeek. So here are all the different um, inputs. I'm actually taking WinLog from one Windows server but as you can see 14,000 events came from Zeek and that's why this is a very very important lab and if you go to your host here you can even see that we have uh, our Zeek server here and this is where it's very important you can view events per host if you wanted you can search for the host up here or you can just drill down on a host so example I'm trying to find out why this machine is now um, I'm curious what is this connection from this port on port 443 why is this machine going there and the one of the simple things that you can do is you can find more information here if there was any users involved but you can also go to say cisco talos just click the link and try to find out who that is and you can see this is probably a site on aws that i was i was visiting at some point but um it looks like it's just Amazon traffic or something hosted there. So that's how, that's a brief overview of how this lab is set up. If there's any interest in this, just uh, hit me a like. If you like this type of uh, content, if you, enough people like this video and uh, you want me to go in depth of step-by-step -step setup, uh, just like this video, if get maybe 20 or 25 people who like this video, uh, I might just create a series of how to install every part independently, but it's very simple. That's it for this video. If you like it, we'll make more. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.